Underwater adventure. I know there's a little uh, wind in that there camera, but uh, we're out in Lake Lake Superior, <laughs> and that out there is open water, not far from it. We're out today. We're doing some lake trout fishing with Outdoor Allures guide, bait shop owner, lodging owner, rental owner, uh, all around. Uh, well, today all around target for us. <laughs> we're out fishing with Craig Putchett, right? Yep. Yeah, I said it right. And we're out doing some laker fishing today, and um, I guess I get the, we don't want to say what we're calling this jig, so. Uh, this is a What venom, the heck is that? This is a venom beetle. It's a locally made bait uh, by John, who happens to be fishing with us today. Uh, and it's called a beetle because there are beetles that are made around here. There's four or five guys who make them. It's got big safety fins right on the lure. And what we do with those is we take a strip of fish meat, this is fresh herring that I just cut, and we pin this fresh herring onto the beetle. Skin and all, eh? Skin and all, just like so. Crossing it like that? No. Once the meat is on there, then we close the pins. That holds it on. And then uh, run the main hook through it. I always use a stinger, and I usually just let the stinger hang back okay. in the tail there. So now this bait flies like an airplane jig. It'll make big circles down there when you jig it. It's got the fresh meat on there for some stink. And hopefully a big old lake girl will come glom onto it and bend this pole over double like that. That works for me. Um, let's talk a little bit. This, let's talk a little bit about fishing Lake Superior. Um, it's a big body of water. It never freezes over, right? Well, once about every 20 or 30 years, the whole lake okay, freezes. So twice or three times in our lifetime it might freeze over. What are the precautions guys got to, I mean this is a great area to fish, no ifs, ands, or buts about it, but what are some of the precautions like people need to take when they come up here to fish? Well you got to know what the ice is that you're going to be going on and the ice out here uh, can change rapidly because we have current in Lake Superior uh, and then we also have uh, big wind events if we get a real windy weekend uh, it can take out big sheets of ice. And the trouble you run into is this ice is here. If the wind takes it out, it skims over. We get a little snow on it. You don't realize. All of a sudden, you go from eight or ten inches of ice to two. Uh, it can be dangerous. So you really got to have your spud bar come prepared. Check the ice as you go. Uh, call uh, either us at Outdoor Allure or the Coast Guard in Bayfield. They can give you current ice. We'll put the number on for uh, Craig's shop uh, to get the to get all that information so they can be safe out here. Um, what about travel wise out here? Um, a lot of people are asking if they're driving on the lake. I never drive on this lake. It's all snowmobile or four-wheeler. Some years you can get along just fine with four-wheelers. If the snow gets really deep, you almost need a snowmobile to get out here. All right. I mean, we are not advocating anybody ever to drive away. But they, do they uh, do any plowing out here at all? Not out here in the Apostle Islands. Down in Chihuahua Bay. You're not supposed to tell everybody where we're fishing. Oh, no. I'm just kidding. Out here they don't. No. But back in the bay they do. Usually off of Ashland and off of Washburn, they'll plow a road out. 
Well, um, let's see how we do today. Stay with us. When we come back, we're hopefully going to be catching some fish. We're going to talk about the equipment some more because it's a little bit different, ain't it? It's a lot different. Okay, guys. We The hook set tip up is extremely easy to set up. We push down and turn to engage it in any of those three notches, set the flag under the T bar. Now, when that fish bites, the spring decompresses and sets the hook firmly into the mouth of the fish. The hook set tip up has the highest hookup percentage. How often does your tip up hook up? Hook set tip ups are available at hooksettipup.com, Gander Mountain, Shields All Sport, Sportsman's Warehouse, and Select Mills, Fleet Farm, Wisconsin stores. Out here, a man's gear better stand up. This Reynolds fella, a good example of that, divides his time hunting, roping, and makes his living fishing, always after the big ones, crappie, bass, or redfish. He's partial to vicious fishing lines, cast easy, resist abrasion, sensitive to the slightest strikes. Time to get vicious. Reckon? I'm gonna need a bigger net. What we got here is a custom built bait casting ice rod. It's real heavy action, as you can see. And this is one of my musky reels with 50 pound braid on it. We're going to be fishing uh, today, we're in 180 foot of water. Uh, as soon as we get good ice out farther, we'll fish as deep as 300 feet on the bottom. So you need some pretty special ice gear. On the bottom, on the bottom, 300 feet. How big are they? What like this jig or which size is this one? This is a two ounce. This is a two ounce. One, two, three ounce. That's what he's. That's uh, what this normally calls for. All right. All right. Well, stay with us. Uh, see how we do.